What's up, BlueTube? It's your boy, the Blu-ray Bandit. We're gonna unpack this giant box of Blu-rays I just got from shopgoodwill.com. Let's go. Welcome back. We're gonna go through this big old box of Blu-rays that I bought from shopgoodwill.com. If you guys have not been scanning shopgoodwill.com for deals. They have auctions, they have buy it nows, they got tons of Blu-rays, and they seem to go for a slightly smaller price than what you might be able to find on eBay. So just a little tip, if you're not in that game yet, you should definitely go check out the website, sort by Blu-ray, sort by auction, and maybe there'll be something in there that's worth picking up. The box that I picked up, I paid $167.02 shipped to my door for 96 titles. That's a per title average of $1.73 each. A bunch of these are super common and not really worth very much. I'm probably gonna lot up a bunch of them and just kind of sell them off, but there's a good deal that I'm gonna wanna keep and a couple that have a decent value that I'm gonna resell to help pay for all the titles that I'm going to keep from this lot. We're gonna go through each title one by one. Let's dive in. I've organized these by value, so it's gonna start on the titles that aren't worth very much and then kind of work its way up. So first title is Hunger Games. Pretty good title in good condition. I love these movies. I'm currently on the hunt for them in 4K. I definitely don't need this copy. I already own the entire series on Blu-ray in individual titles with slip covers. So I'm gonna have to resell this one. Unfortunately, it only fetches about $2 on eBay. Next up is Body of Lies, starring Leonardo DiCaprio and Russell Crowe. This one comes in the classic blockbuster rental case. Gonna have to resell this one again. Also fetches about $2 on eBay. Next up, we have Psycho Circus. This movie contains three movies inside of it. Uh, the Brotherhood of Satan, Torture Garden, and The Creeping Flesh. Never heard of any of those. Not really interested in watching them either. I'm gonna resell this. It fetches about $3. And here we've got Roadhouse starring Patrick Swayze in perfect condition. Unfortunately, only worth about $3 as well, but a great movie. Next, we have Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, the most recent Jurassic Park movie and not a great movie, that's for sure. I actually have this in 4K just to complete my Jurassic Park 4K collection, but it's not really a movie I love for sure. Unfortunately, this was the one title in the box out of all 96 that uh, was missing a disc, and it happens to be the Blu-ray disc. So the DVD is not worth much online, so I'm basically just gonna remove the insert and the DVD and use it as a replacement case. Next up, Training Day, another good one starring Denzel Washington and Ethan Hawke. I believe Snoop Dogg is in this as well. Flawless case, flawless disc, but not worth much. Another $3 title. And here we go with Tin Man, a movie I don't know much about. In fact, the cast is interesting. Zoe Deschanel, Alan Cumming, Neil McDonough, and Richard Dreyfuss star in this movie. I didn't even know this was a thing. What's the date on this? The date is 2007, so we're talking about 14 years ago here. It kind of looks like a Wizard of Oz sequel of sorts, maybe a Wizard of Oz spinoff film. It's an odd one and not really worth that much. I'm tempted to watch it before I resell it. When I do resell it, it's gonna fetch about $3. Paul Verhoeven's Robocop, again in pristine condition, an 80s action classic that I'm gonna resell. Man of Steel with slipcover in perfect condition. I enjoy this movie, but I already own it on Blu-ray, so this one's going to eBay. Here we have Walt Disney's Enchanted starring Amy Adams. Now this case is really beat up. I mean, it's the plastic on the front of it is practically gone. You can see it right there. You can see the damage right there. I mean, like a good portion of the case is just gone, but the insert and the disc look good. So I'm probably just gonna take that Fallen Kingdom case and throw it on this one and then put it on eBay, because I have no need for a physical copy of this movie. War and Peace, a drama from the 1950s starring Audrey Hepburn and Henry Fonda. Have not seen this one, but I'm looking forward to checking it out at some point. If I enjoy it, I'll keep it. I thought it might be a Best Picture winner, but in looking it up, it looks like it was just nominated. So, so I don't have to keep it for my Best Picture collection, but uh, if it's worthy, it'll land on the shelf. 
Men in Black International. This is the most recent Men in Black movie starring Chris Hemsworth and Tessa Thompson in perfect condition. I'm going to resell this copy. I actually don't have this one in the collection. I have the original three Men in Black movies on 4K, and maybe someday if I happen across this one in 4K, I will pick it up. But for right now, don't necessarily love this movie. It's getting resold. Here we have The Expendables 1 and 2, brand new and sealed. Don't really love The Expendables movie, so I'm going to resell this copy. Hellboy 2, The Golden Army. This is a Guillermo del Toro movie starring Ron Perlman and Selma Blair, amongst others. It's a good movie, but I already own it on Blu-ray, so this is a resell. Aladdin. This is Disney's remake of the animated classic, this time with Will Smith in the genie role. I pretty much dislike this movie, so I have very little need for it in my collection, but it's going to sell well. It's in pristine condition. It runs about $3. Here is Hondo starring John Wayne, one of his classic westerns, and a movie I have not seen, nor do I have it in my collection. So I'm going to hold on to this one for a little while, give it a watch, and if I enjoy it, I'll keep it, and if not, I'll resell it. Pride and Prejudice, a movie directed by Joe Wright starring Kira Knightley. It's also Carrie Mulligan's film debut. A good movie, one I already own on Blu-ray. This case actually has a little slit in it you can probably see right there, so I'm probably going to have to replace the case. I don't know. It scans at about $3 on eBay, so I might not replace the case and just lot it up and make a note that this case has a little bit of damage on it. It's not too bad, as you can see. But if it had a little more value on eBay, I would definitely be replacing this case. It doesn't, so it's going as is. The original Dune. This is a David Lynch movie that I think recently got an Arrow release. So the value of this has been going down since the announcement of that title. This is worth about $3 online right now, but a good two or three months ago, it was up around six or seven dollars. I know that because I've resold this title before and uh, in recently looking it up, the value has definitely dipped on it. Not a good movie for sure. I'm not sure why anybody would pay $35 for an Arrow release of this very bad movie, but people are doing it. Hopefully the new version directed by Denis Villeneuve will turn out much better. That one's coming out in a few months. And finally, for $3 titles, this is Whiteout starring Kate Beckinsale, a movie I have seen but could not tell you a thing that happens in the movie. This one comes in that classic blockbuster case. Gonna have to replace the case. Or if I throw it in a lot, maybe I'll just keep it in the case. I don't know. I haven't quite decided on whiteout. But one thing's for sure, I don't need it taking up space on my shelf. Next, we've got Star Wars The Last Jedi. This is written and directed by Ryan Johnson, the much maligned Star Wars middle film from the Disney trilogy era of Star Wars. But I enjoy this movie quite a bit. This copy is in perfect case, perfect slipcover. Unfortunately, only worth about $4 on eBay. So I already have a copy. This one's getting resold. Here we have The Last Starfighter, another 80s sci-fi classic and a good movie. One I already have in my collection, so I'm going to have to resell this one. I'm also going to have to replace the case. You can probably see it's got a little bit of damage right there on the corner. So definitely a busted case. I'm going to resell this online for about $4. Fireproof, starring Kirk Cameron and another one in those classic blockbuster rental cases. This is a movie I have not seen before. I doubt it's any good. I don't know if you've seen this. According to the cover, it's the number one inspirational movie in America. OK, we'll see about that. Maybe. I don't know. I, I am not going to watch this. I'm definitely going to resell this unless somebody in the comments tells me that I absolutely have to watch it. But I can't imagine there's anybody out there who one has seen this or two has any love for it. But we'll see. Either way, the plan right now is to resell this on eBay for about four dollars. Next up, we've got the rescuers and the rescuers down under two film collection with slipcase in pristine condition. This is one of my favorite Disney animated movies. I don't typically collect Disney animated movies on Blu-ray because they're all available on Disney+. Plus. I only really keep them if they represent my taste in Disney movies, and this one definitely applies, so I'm going to be keeping this copy of The Rescuers and The Rescuers Down Under. The Help, a great comedy drama. This one with a great cast of ladies, including Jessica Chastain, Viola Davis, Bryce Dallas Howard, Allison Janney, Octavia Spencer, Emma Stone. I mean, the list goes on and on with this one. I do not have it in my collection. 
but I'm excited to add it to the shelf. Taking Lives, a thriller starring Angelina Jolie that I've never seen before. This copy is in pristine condition. I'm gonna keep it and then give it a watch, maybe resell it in the long run, haven't quite decided yet. Next up we have Copland. This is a police crime procedural directed by James Mangold, the guy who directed Logan, amongst others. Stars Sylvester Stallone and Robert De Niro. Has a great cast. Really, honestly, I don't remember much about Copland. I believe I've seen it, but I'm not 100% sure I have. For now, I'm definitely gonna keep it, give it a rewatch at some point, and if I decide it hasn't earned its way onto the shelf, it'll go up for resale. This is Disney Pixar's Incredibles, a movie I already own on Blu-ray. Wouldn't mind owning this in 4K, but for right now, this is an extra copy and I'm gonna resell it. And here we've got Avengers Endgame. Two copies of Avengers Endgame came in this box. One standard, one with pristine slipcover. I already own Avengers Endgame on Blu-ray, so both of these are going on eBay. The Hitman's Bodyguard with Slipcover, a movie that is fine. I mean, it was an enjoyable watch the first time I saw it. Not really interested in a bunch of rewatches on this one. I don't know what it is about it. It just didn't do much for me. The Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard did even less, but uh, this isn't worth too much on eBay, and you can definitely find it out in the wild in 4K. This fetches about $5, and I'm going to resell it to help pay for some titles I'd rather keep. 101 Dalmatians, another Disney classic and a movie I enjoy from my childhood. Not necessarily one that I have to keep in the collection, but a good one for sure. It fetches about $5 on eBay and I'm going to resell it. The Ruins, another one of those blockbuster rental titles that I'm going to have to swap the case out for and resell. This fetches about $5 on eBay. I'm pretty sure I've seen The Ruins, but I'm not 100% positive. So I'm going to give it a watch before I resell it. And if I enjoy it, I'll keep it. If not, I'll sell it. This is Doom, another blockbuster rental and a famously awful movie starring The Rock. Yeah, I used to love this video game, but man, that's, this movie version did not do it justice for sure. I'm tempted to keep this just as a joke, you know, throw it on my shelf for people to say, what the? It's also a title I don't typically see out in the wild, probably because it came out in the early days of Blu-ray. That being said, it's not worth a whole lot, about $5 on eBay, so I don't know undecided on Doom. Here we have the Riddick collection. This is the sci-fi series starring Vin Diesel. This collection contains two movies, the original Pitch Black, which is great, and The Chronicles of Riddick, which is a movie that I have not seen since the theaters. I don't remember it being too awful. But I'm going to resell this copy because I already have this exact title in my collection. Here we have Patton, a war movie from the late 1960s and a title that I'm going to need to keep in my collection because it did win Best Picture. It's a movie I have not seen, but I do enjoy war movies and I'm looking forward to diving into this one. Ford v Ferrari starring Matt Damon and Christian Bale from just a few years ago. You can see somebody at some point sold this for one dollar, probably at a garage sale and somehow it ended up at Goodwill. Who knows? It fetches about $6 on eBay. I already have it in my collection on Blu-ray, so this title is going to pay for itself as well as at least two titles I'd rather keep. Disney's Moana, a great kids movie that I certainly enjoyed the one time I saw it in movie theaters. It's definitely a movie I need to give a rewatch. I doubt it's one that I need to save space for in my collection, especially since if I want to rewatch it, I can always watch it on Disney Plus at any time. If I was trying to collect all the Disney titles, it would definitely be a keep, but I'm not, so I'm going to resell it. It'll go for roughly $6, pay for itself, as well as a few other titles. Scary Movie 2, a movie that I've seen, but I don't remember anything about, certainly. I remember a little bit about the original Scary Movie, but after that version, even though I've seen all of them, it's just kind of more of the same jokes here and there. Definitely a good time, especially in the movie theater, but not anything I need to keep on my shelves. The Wedding Singer, starring Adam Sandler and Drew Barrymore, the late 90s comedy classic, and a movie I need to add to my collection, but I'm not sure I'm going to add this one because the case has like a decent amount of damage right there. You can see it's like a dent that goes all the way through the insert, and I'm not really a packaging snob too much, but I don't know, that's a pretty deep dent. Also, I feel like I might be able to find this one out in the wild eventually, so I might resell it. Of course, in the auction, I will note it has the dent. It sells for about $6 in acceptable condition on eBay, which is probably what I would list this as. 
If the dent was just in the packaging and not on the insert, I would just replace the case, but unfortunately the insert's been damaged. So I'm gonna resell it. This is the Back to the Future Trilogy Collection. This is the 25th anniversary. Love the Back to the Future movies. I already have them in 4K, so I definitely don't need this copy. This one definitely has some wear and tear on the edges. It's an interesting cardboard in that it flips out. I've definitely seen this version in digibook form. This one just kind of has the sleeve on the outside and then you unfold the insides. It doesn't fetch too much on eBay, about $6 at this point, but since I already own it, I'm gonna resell this copy. Aquaman, a DCEU movie directed by James Wan, starring Jason Momoa, and probably my second favorite DCEU movie, and one that I don't own on Blu-ray. So I'm gonna be keeping this copy with slipcover. It's definitely in decent condition, and I'm starting to slowly collect the DCEU movies on Blu-ray. I'm trying to collect every comic book movie ever released on Blu-ray, and uh, whether I like them or not, the DCEU movies are definitely a part of that collection, so Aquaman added to the collection. Speaking of collection, this is a collection of two classic Sword and Sandals historically based movies. I don't know. I guess it depends on what you believe. This is Ben-Hur and the Ten Commandments, two very long movies in a nice little two-pack collection. I know the Ten Commandments, I believe, recently was released on 4K. Would love to have a copy of that, but for now I'm gonna live with this two-pack collection. There's actually four discs in here, two discs for each film because of their runtime. It doesn't scan too terribly high on eBay, about $7 for this title, but I'm gonna keep it for my shelves. Here we have Exodus, Gods and Kings, another sword and sandal movie, but maybe one that's a little less historically accurate, potentially. This copy is brand new and sealed, and I already own a copy, so I'm gonna resell this one to help pay for titles I'd rather keep. We've got Alien 3, a David Fincher movie, and maybe his only franchise film. It's an odd one in the Alien series, but a good one as well. I already own the Alien series in digibook collection form, so this one's going for resale. It'll fetch about $8. The Secret Life of Pets in 4K. This is the only 4K title that came in the box. This one's worth about $8, but it's in pristine condition. I have no need to rewatch it. I'm gonna resell it. Jurassic World in 3D. Of the two Jurassic World movies we've gotten so far, definitely the better of the two. I already own this movie on 4K, so I have no need for this Blu-ray copy. It fetches about $8 on eBay. Solo, A Star Wars Story. In my opinion, an underappreciated Star Wars movie. I know that's not exactly a popular opinion, but it's definitely mine. I enjoy this movie. I think if you try to drop all the baggage of some of the other Disney-era Star Wars movies, this is one of the best, for sure. I know it's hard to get over the fact that Harrison Ford is not Han Solo, but Alden Ehrenreich, I think, does a very decent to good job of young Harrison Ford. If you saw the movie in movie theaters, had a negative reaction to it, I suggest you revisit it now here with a few years of perspective and with lower expectations. I think it'll play much better for sure. I own this movie on 4K, have no need for the Blu-ray, so I'm gonna resell it. The Great Raid. This is a war movie starring Benjamin Bratt and James Franco, and it's a movie I had never heard of before. I don't know if that means it's no good. I really have, yeah, I just never heard of this. I've never heard anybody ever talk about it. It's probably not very good. It was released in Miramax, I believe in the late aughts, but I'm still gonna give it a watch. This package is a little damaged, but there's no damage to the insert. It's just the cover is a little bit wavy and there's like a, a little bit of chewed upness on the corner of the plastic right there. So I'm gonna give it a replacement case, throw it on the shelf, Someday I'll give it a watch. If I enjoy it, I'll keep it. If I don't, it currently fetches about $9 on eBay. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. This is new and sealed. I'm gonna resell it. It's a Disney classic that's available to me on Disney Plus, so I have no need for it. Where Hope Grows, a faith-based movie that I know very little about. I, I don't know most of these cast members. The only one I recognize is Danica McKellar, who played Winnie on The Wonder Years. So I'm kind of interested in this one just to see what she's up to these days, but I'm not sure I'm willing to sit through a two hour movie to do so. I'll probably just look her up on Wikipedia or something like that. This title fetches about $10 on eBay, so I'm gonna resell it to help pay for some titles I'd rather keep. The Guardian, starring Kevin Costner and Ashton Kutcher, a movie about members of the Coast Guard who rescue people during bad storms. 
It's a movie I've seen but remember very little about. This copy is brand new and sealed, so I'd like to give it a rewatch, but I'm not willing to open the package, especially when this one fetches about $10 on eBay. Sin City, A Dame to Kill For. This is the Sin City sequel. Not as good as the first one for sure, but this is the 3D version. I'm kind of on the hunt for the non-3D version. I'm not even sure it exists because I keep coming across this 3D version of the title. But yeah, if you enjoy the first movie, you're not going to hate this one. But it fetches about $11 online, so it's a hard one to keep when you don't have a particular love for the movie. Once again, I'm probably going to resell it. Zombieland Double Tap, the sequel to the original Zombieland and a movie I do not have in my collection and I'm going to keep. Even though this one is brand new and sealed, I'm going to keep it brand new and sealed on my shelf. And hopefully before I get a chance to rewatch it, I'll find one in the wild that's already opened. It fetches about $12 brand new on eBay, but this one I'm adding to the collection. The Collector, another former Blockbuster rental in the Blockbuster rental case. I'm going to replace the case, put it in its original form. Once I have it in a brand new case, I'm going to resell it on eBay and it should fetch around $12. And here we have Spider-Man, the original trilogy. These are the films directed by Sam Raimi from the aughts. Great movies and a good box set. I already own these on Blu-ray, but mine are individual titles that don't really match. Like I have the Spider-Man Steelbook and Spider-Man 2 and Spider-Man 3, but like different releases for those two. But so it kind of looks ugly on the shelf. I'm probably going to keep this collection for now. I'm on the hunt for it in 4K, but this is a title that does not come cheap in 4K, so for now, keeping this box set and selling my copies. Next up, we've got the Ace Ventura collection. This is both of the Ace Ventura movies in one space-saving case. I don't think I've ever seen this collection on pawn shop shelves, so I'm super excited to grab this one. Both movies I enjoy quite a bit. We're starting to get into the titles that are worth a decent amount. This one scanned at about $15, and I'm going to add it to the collection. Another collection worth $15. These are the two Crocodile Dundee films from the 80s. Classic movies starring Paul Hogan and movies that I already own. So I'm going to resell this to help pay for a bunch of titles that I'd rather keep. Donnie Darko, a great sci-fi mystery movie and a movie that I love. This one is brand new and sealed, but it, it kind of sounds like the disc is a little, little loose on the inside of it. So I'm probably going to have to open it up before I sell it. I know there's also an Arrow release on this title as well. This copy, brand new, sells for about $17 on eBay. Now that I think about it, there's a chance my copy is brand new and sealed, so maybe I'll just swap the two out and still sell it sealed. I don't know, I haven't decided. Either way, I have an extra copy. One of them's going on eBay. This is Star Wars The Complete Saga, which was complete at one point. This came out before the Disney era movies. So what you have in here are the original trilogy and the prequel trilogy. All movies I already have on my shelf. This scans at about $17 and I'm going to resell it. Here's a movie that I'm definitely keeping. It's the Wachowski siblings cult classic Speed Racer, a movie I have never seen in a pawn shop or out in the wild. I'm sure they're out there, but they're definitely not in my area. Trust me, I have looked. This one comes with slipcover. It scans at about $19 on eBay, which I'm guessing is almost exactly what it cost when it was first released. So it's definitely a title that's held its value and one that I'm excited to add to the collection. And here's another collection. This is the Harry Potter 8 film collection, all eight movies. It's crazy to me that this scans at about $20 on eBay, $20 for all of the Harry Potter movies. I don't know if that's a bad sign for physical media or what, but um, yeah, I mean, if you want all the Harry Potter movies on Blu-ray, it's only going to cost you about $20 and shipping. I already own this exact title in my collection, so I'm going to resell this one. The Passion of the Christ, the definitive edition. This title came up in my 25 Surprisingly Valuable Blu-rays video, and it's one that since then I've found at least two copies of. It scans at about $22 on eBay. I already own a copy of it, so I'm going to resell this one. Disney Pixar's WALL-E, brand new and sealed. One of my favorite Pixar movies of all time and definitely one I need to rewatch. It's been quite a while since I've seen this movie. I'm sure it will hold up though. This sealed copy for some reason scanned at $27. I already own it in 4K, so I'm going to resell this copy. There's something about Mary. This one is brand new and sealed. 
and scans for about $35 brand new on eBay. Evidently, it's well out of print. I don't know much about this. I'm not quite sure why it would scan at $35, but it did. I already own this movie in a two-pack with some other movie from the same era, probably another Ferrelli Brothers movie. But yeah, at $35, I am not going to hold on to this. I'm going to resell it. Another out-of-print title, this is Roger Waters performing The Wall. Roger Waters of Pink Floyd fame. I'm guessing there's a lot of Roger Waters slash Pink Floyd fans out there that still collect physical media of the band. And that's what's driving the price up on this one. Not too sure, but this title scanned at $39 and I'd be a fool not to resell it. And finally, this is the Mel Brooks Comedy Collection. I am definitely keeping this collection. It has nine of Mel Brooks's best films on Blu-ray, including The Twelve Chairs, Blazing Saddles, Young Frankenstein, Silent Movie, High Anxiety, History of the World Part 1, To Be or Not to Be, Spaceballs, and Robin Hood Men in Tights. It's also pretty much in pristine condition. There's a little bit of shelf wear on the corners, but nothing crazy for sure. The inner case is like this large disc snap case, but that is also in flawless condition. Yeah, so in keeping this, I'm going to save a ton of shelf space because I'm going to be able to get rid of three or four titles I already have on the shelf that I don't necessarily need individual releases for. It's going to expand the Mel Brooks collection by five films. And I've actually never seen The Twelve Stairs, so I'm looking forward to experiencing that one for the first time. This collection scans at $45 on eBay, but I'm going to keep it. I think it's definitely worth keeping, and it's going to make all that extra time spent reselling all those extra titles even more sweet when this one pays for itself. All right, that's it for this Shop Goodwill haul. These are the titles I am keeping. There were 96 titles in the box with a cost of $167.02, which brings them out to $1.73 each and an estimated value of $572. I should also mention there were 11 digital codes throughout these 96 titles. I've already checked all the codes. Eight of them were valid, so you can add that to the tally sheet as well. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. I'm shooting with a brand new camera. We'll see how it turns out. I'm slowly kind of leveling up the channel as we grow. If you're subscribed, I appreciate it. If you're not subscribed, what are you doing? Just hit that subscribe button right now. When we hit 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to give away a huge stack of physical media. So looking forward to that. Humor is just another defense against the universe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Until then, bye.